Hello, this is Gary the Coconut bringing you another StarCraft to replay. Here we have Awkward for the win against Angrist. And I'm pretty sure that I have casted an Awkward for the win before one of his games. I want to thank you guys for sending me so many replays. I have more replays than I ever get to cast or uh, and I am even a little behind on watching some of them. So thank you for sending them in. I am not famous or anything, so there is a high chance that your game will get casted if you send it to me. And I like it. So Awkward for the Win is doing a little scouting, making sure there is no six pool. Angst, Angrist, wisely waiting for the scout to leave before throwing down his spawning pool. I do not like this Overlord placement, however. You will notice that this game is in two speed. With those overlords, if it's a Zerg versus Zerg. Oh, hello, hidden drone. In a Zerg versus Zerg. Oh. Uh, apparently, we have a proxy hatch game going on. But anyway, like I was saying, in a Zerg versus Zerg, those overlords are not going to get killed in the early game. There are no early units to attack air other than queens, and they're pretty slow off creep. So, you need to use these overlords and place them in the path where Zerglings are going to run. So I would go ahead and throw an overlord on top of this island, on top of this island, in front of the ramp. Who cares? It's not going to matter. But definitely, I am not going to have them scouting my spawning pool and roach warren. So let's see what awkward for the win. His strategy is going to be to make a lot of drones to fund his uh, proxy hatch. Because sometimes, even though Zerglings are so darn fast, sometimes they're just a little too slow. And it's better to just get them in your opponent's base. So our Angrist, who has not done a single thing of scouting, has he? Let's look. No, he has sat on his base. He did scout from his spawning pool to this part. But no, he hasn't done a lot. He does not know that there is a hatchery in his base. He does not know that there is an army of Zerglings heading his way. Even though in a Zerg versus Zerg, this is the best race to find out if a six pool is coming your way or any type of Zergling. Because you have overlords. Oh, and now he decides to scout. Oh, hello base. He now suddenly sees that there is a base in his base. And even though he has 24 workers, he, uh, it's not looking so good. Well, he also is apparently a quitter. So this was a good replay. Thank you for sending it to me, Awkward for the Win. If you want to send me a replay, send it to bestofbronze at gmail.com. And if I like them, I will cast them. And this is Gary the Coconut, and that's it. Mm -hmm.